Uh, and so somehow this thing, because it's a solar cell, what it does is it takes uh, light energy and it, create, it creates electrical signals out of them. Um, but right now we're not really shining. Oh, oh. The question is, what's that damn hum, I guess? Right? You hear that hum? It doesn't seem to go away. And when I cover it, the hum goes away. Right? Um, what we're hearing is really the this lamp here. But why are we hearing it as tone? Right? If I sort of squash this view, you'll see that it makes a very pretty sine wave. Right? Very smooth, pretty sine. Can you see that? Yeah. Perfect. Right? It's an almost perfect sine wave. And uh, the frequency of that sine wave is roughly what? It's pretty low. It's pretty basic tone. Yeah, it turns out to be exactly 60 cycles per second. And what works 60 cycles per second? Electricity. Yeah. It's the electrical system that we're listening to. Specifically, what we're listening to is this light turning on and off 60 times every second. Because the household lamp, despite the fact that we look at it and it seems like it's bright and continuously on, is actually turning on and off 60 times every second. Because the electricity turns on, changes direction 60 times every second. If we use a light source that isn't connected to the power within the walls, isn't connected to an AC source, but we use a DC source instead. I had a flashlight here, there it is. So can you turn that one off? There's still a little hum from there. Let's just block it. Okay, so if we use the flashlight, the fl I'm just blocking the light from there so we don't hear that hum. The flashlight, this is what we call a DC light source. It's on and it's only on. It doesn't turn on and off. The human eye can't tell the difference, right? Because it, vib it, it flickers too fast for us to notice it as flickering. It's turning on and off 60 times a second, but our eyes aren't sensitive enough to see that change. But a, uh, if you want to trust me, since this thing runs on batteries, it's not changing. It's a, it's a direct current, so it only turns the light on. It never turns it off. But you, mm. you have to trust me. You can't see the difference. So the only way for me to generate sound with this is to move the light around. Right? And so I can sort of make up a, a light that switches on and off. Every time this thing gets a change in the light, it generates a small current. We can amplify that and listen to it as sound. Um, and if we, this is a fairly cool trick, let's see if I can make it work. So we can, I'm just sort of taping this up now as a kind of a target, because I want to shoot this laser pointer at it. Uh, and what we're going to do... Careful. Be careful. Why is that? <laughs> laser, man. <laughs> it's lasers, dude! I'm afraid of lasers! Don't laze me, dude. <laughs> okay, so right now, let's see if I can get it to hit. I like that, that stand you got there. Isn't that slick? Okay, so you guys might want to come a little bit closer. She got gone. Okay. All right, so right now, can you guys see the, the point of the laser right here? Here's the laser, right? And I've taped the sensor right up against this box here just so it's like as a non-moving target, it's a lot easier to hit a non-moving target, right? We all know that from our days in the force or whatever. Um, back in the joint. Um, okay, so right now, uh, the laser pointer shoots across the room and hits this thing. It doesn't make any damn sound because the laser pointer is operated on batteries, right? It's not an AC powered device. It's not switching on and off. So what we see and what we hear, <coughs> if we turn this sort of way up, we still hear that damn hum, but that hum is just coming from these lights, right? Um, and all by itself, it's not really that thrilling. I can interrupt the beam to make sound, or I can interrupt the beam in sort of a really smooth way. Simply by, inter you see what this, this, this is just a little muffin fan, and so I'm sort of chopping the light very rapidly. Right? I can turn it down so slightly when I do it because it makes quite a... Right? So the sort of rate of chopping determines the frequency of the sound. I have to sort of unamplify that view so it's a little easier to see. So, no, don't get in my way. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Right? So... And if I, let's see if I can power it by the battery. Where's that, like a switch? 
It's just a little. Thing. or something like that. We could set up multiple fans, change the speed of the fan, and generate all the tones we want. Simply by changing the speed of the fan, we can make a very acceptable looking uh, sine or triangle wave. Is it like in a Wurlitzer or something? It's very similar to what goes on in a Wurlitzer. Yeah, uh, except they do it magnetically oh. instead of optically. But um, uh, the Hammond works that way. I'm not sure about the Wurlitzer. But the Hammond works on um, a magnetic... Uh, uh, spinning drum kind of. What about those things that, you know, like an antenna, what do they call it? Uh, um, Theremin. Theremin? Theremin? Yeah. 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 Uh, totally different principle, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, we'll do that. Yeah, I can't, I, uh, that's another subject. Um, but what I can do, in addition to sort of just chopping the sound up and making sound with it, which in itself is fairly exciting, right? Because when I think about all the stuff that I could interpose, it gets really interesting, right? Like I can, um, I can read the bumps off of the surface of a phonograph, for instance. I didn't do it, but we can connect a needle to a, a contact microphone and just ride along these grooves and sort of play the record manually simply by spinning it, because all it really is is bumps in the surface of a piece of vinyl. Um, and I can also listen to the bumps in the surface of a vinyl, too, by bouncing it off of here and then reading it somewhere else with a suitable sensor. And we can play records with lasers, which is... Uh, yeah. Which is a way of not... That's so future. It's so future, and that way we don't scratch our records. 